All right, everybody. Welcome to an afternoon matinee stream of the I see Witcher Three. Yeah, so we're continuing with uh, the Witcher. Searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the Witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to taken shelter in his hideout. The Witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The Witcher felt that all was lost until Kira gave him a new lead, the Crones of Crookback Bog. Hope that everybody's having a wonderful sun Super Bowl Sunday. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tonight. Um, I was hoping to do a retro stream, but I've been having issues with my... Um, my uh old nes and the stream so and i'm in terms of all right so where was i supposed to go now Oh, it's ah. drizzly. Uh, what's the quest? Talk to Baron about his family. There we go. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, yeah. I'm grateful. Okay. Thank you. Such a gentleman. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Talk to the Baron. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them. Trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones. Called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Death of family members always hard. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. 
in this hole, this reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Gotta talk about your family. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Also, it's raining. Just putting that out there. Thank you. News for me. Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. I'm gonna go. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Ciri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Story time. Wasteland Ruckus, Great Champino, Mr. Gruff, 1988, and Dan Etienne. Thank you. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where they teach you that, anyway? A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? I just travel a lot, and I don't always happen upon such good and civil company. Ah, gift of the gap she's got. Here's the good company. I don't know how she was drinking that. Like, drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. A she-wolf, if ever I've seen one. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback, nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself, I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. 
Okay. It'll be a random thing. I don't know why that gave me feedback. Vela Northern Tamaria Sunrise. Die dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri, don't you embarrass us! <laughs> Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! I'm assuming the dotted line is where I'm supposed to be going. Nice. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. be for another day she screamed like a mad woman in an instant all had forgotten the wager every man ran to save his skin even were he to break his neck and they make it some I Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Uh, we're working on, uh, heard anything about the witches in the area? You're working with Nilfgaard, why? Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison. Doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. How'd you wind up here? How'd you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Timerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled and abandoned the Perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed Baron will cease. Heard anything about the witches in the area? Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. 
ever played. I'm going to attempt to win. And what's more, I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Hey, how's it going? Thirteen. I don't know why your your um, username is really dark. So I had trouble seeing it on my my dashboard, but I see it fine on the screen. How you doing? Reet, reet. Let's lay him down. Watch me lose at Gwent. I suck at Gwent. Um. Full cards on that. Number of unit cards. Special cards. Total unit card strength. Hero cards. I have none. <laughs> hey, you're funny. All right, let's start the game. That sucks. Um, uh, well, that makes my shit. Let's see how that goes. Not too good. Um, shit. I didn't know that's where he would put it. Oh, this sucks. This one's just gonna go here. Fuck. Holy shit, okay. I didn't even know the rules. Yeah, he 
He's gonna kick my ass. Let me pass. Because I am desperately losing. Well, of course he did. Even dimensional man smells like piss. That's not gonna do shit. Sucks. And I'm gonna lose big time. Uh, oh. I have lost. You're not complete shite, but you really should work on your technique. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where's the exit? When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll. Uh -huh. Alright. Um It's on top. The stash is on top. here. Siri must have used these. All right. She left in a hurry. I didn't even realize I was going to be doing an investigation. That's nice. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? Uh, the Natural Obscurity of Curses to my dear friends Philip and Anna from Count La Guevre, Minister of Culture for the Kingdom of Temeria, Vizima 1265. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one's being ill will towards another is sorely mistaken. Shockingly, commonplace are reports of curses cast unwillingly on oneself or on objects in one's immediate environment. The consequences of doing so can be difficult to predict. In many cases, they lead to harm or even the death of a person afflicted by the curse, or of the people spending time with the object or being on which the curse fell. That is why it is so essential to take preventative measures to safeguard oneself as thoroughly as possible against the casting of curses. As an absolute minimum, Madame Amelia Ver Veracruz Leone recommends cleansing oneself of all negative thoughts striving to be at one with the world and achieving harmony between body and mind religion and life and should we thus submit our life to religion or should we interpret religion so that it serves our lives instead there are so as many schools as there are philosophers as many stories as there are human beings and let us not forget elven beings nor dwelven, ha halfling, gnomish ones, 
nor any other sapient creature familiar with the qu quandaries of the soul. I, for my part, having survived now more than 120 years, vodka and radishes work wonders, lend no credence to anyone who claims differently, can swear with all certainty that there is no way to reconcile everyone at once. And what pleases one will provoke wing whinging uh, and sulking in another and will undoubtedly cause a third to reach for his knife if it dares depart from his own. Narrow world by which much of us of, as a hare. What then do we do? How should we live? Why, as we like, as our soul urges, disregarding all of the brayings of philosophers and ethicists, those contained in the tomb included, disregard them as we would as we would fairy tales or old wives' legends. Yep. It is. I love it. But, but the nectar of potatoes. Letter of safe conduct. In the name of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redania, the bearer of the present document is entitled to the right of unfettered passage across all blockades on the Pontar River. A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they had friends in high places in Vizima. A spinning top. Quick as toy. Go to the kitchen and talk to Greg. Okay. Anything on the table? That's been done. Oh, loot. Stash. There we go. Uh, all right. Let's clear some shits. Uh, I have a ton of weapons though, but. Oh, actually. Ah, uh, shit. I don't know which one I took. Basically, what I have, I don't have on me. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, stash. Um, I apparently can't store that away. Roach, other saddle, horse blinders, stamina of this member. Strap trophies to the saddle to receive a bonus. All right. Quest items. There's a shit ton of fucking things here. I don't know what the limit is for my uh, stash. Come on. I know this is not very exciting. What is this razor? Boom. Boom. Uh... Let's, uh... It's not worth anything. It's not worth anything either. Okay, so these are not worth anything either then. Right? Yeah. So maybe I will keep them. Come 
Come on. Okay. Let's get up. Well, at least. Contract devil by the well. Good folk, I know there's a war on every man's got trouble enough on his own, but perhaps there's one who would help the father in need. You surely know. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go out. <coughs> Alright. Um, no. Oh, I have to go talk to the kitchen. Okay. Fuck. And the kitchen's on the other side. Oh, there we go. Let's talk to La Madame. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. Uh, found this toy in Siri's room. Why did Siri else? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. What friend? Siri wanted to help a friend. Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Found this toy in Siri's room. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Do you know where Siri is? Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Farewell. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Oh, I'm not gonna steal from these people. Eh? Huh? Okay. Thistle. Thistle. Uh, Lead us away. Find the crones or crookback bog. Okay. Let's look at where the quests are, because it's finished. Find the crows about blah blah and family matters. Find Tamara, the Baron's daughter in Oxenfurt. And that is <coughs> Excuse me. And that is there where I had no rights of passage. Alright. Um Let's go here, and then we shall uh, head on down. Gonna walk over the village. Remind the pumpkins who we are. Went to the village for the lemon, and that one can't I can sharpen my things here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fox on a lot of you. All right, let's go to the Batmobile. Boy, lads, fancy an outing? Sounds like he's taking a shit. So, anybody watching uh, very enthused about the Super Bowl? Because I'm not. I'm honestly, I'm not, quite honestly, I'm fed up of the, the Pats. That's um, it, Roach. As much as I give credit to Brady for always being able to win, 
As much as I'll never like the Pats, because there's just a bunch of cheaters. Alright. Let's fast travel to Yeah, exactly. You know what? He in all fairness, um especially after the Falcons, I think it was the Falcons, right? That went to the Super Bowl and he came back. Um to be quite honest, after that, he cemented himself regardless if he won last year or not. He cemented himself in the like a legendary quarterback category. I just don't like Belichick. I just can't stand him. I think he just got lucky. Well, then again, a lot of people get lucky. But why am I still here? Oh, that's why. I forgot to press. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. The thing about the Rams is they became they, they got way too cocky early in the season when they had like when they were six and zero or something. They're like we can go perfect and nobody can beat us. And I get there's confidence, but they were cocky about it. And then they lost like two weeks in a row, I think, or they lost like two out of three. And uh, yeah. That is not what I was going for. Hey, come on. Just walk to the guys. Oh, uh, oh, there's a, there's a gate. Yeah. All right, let's go. Fuck. Well. He doesn't have anything to really prove, but at the same time, you know, he's he's going after all the records, right? Or at least a lot of records that haven't been beaten in a long time. Black ones took the They'll take no. He grabbed two. In a hurry. Watching you. Oh, yep. you need to present a pass if you want to cross. Well, talk about clipping issues. You got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. It happens. So be it. You may come through. Wow, the guy spoke to me through a fucking horse. Well, in all honesty, any anybody um, that it's the same thing with wrestling. It's the same thing with any spectator sport. It's hard to walk away when that's all you've been you've been you've grown up to to do. And a lot of these sports, you know, you're playing since you're, especially like hockey, you know, there's stories where people have been playing since they're four or five, six years old, right? So it's hard, it, it's easy for us to say, oh, just let everybody else do, but it's hard to walk away. Um, and a lot, of, and one thing that they don't, they don't talk about is a lot of the, um, a lot of the, this is actually a nice place. Um. It's the depression that players feel after they retire. Oh, let's see. Beware of trolls. Caution. A troll's been seen and heard to the east of Oxenford. On the left bank of Pontar, said troll has been known to sing Rendinian marching tunes. It is suspected this is part of some Nilfgaardian diversion tactic. 
It is recommended that this area be avoided until the appropriate branch of His Majesty's service can take care of the problem. In the event of an encounter with the troll, it is recommended to remain immobile, keeping low to the ground and covering one's head and one's arms. There exists a chance that the beast will not then attack, or it will make mistake the potential victim thus situated for a rock. Berto Bertolomeu, Captain of the Garrison. Contract, Monster in Oxenford. By orders of our most mag magnum magnanimous <coughs> ruler, King Redavid V, any itinerant uh, monster slayer reading this notice is obliged to abandon any currently unresolved contracts immediately and devote himself to tracking and slaying this monster. The beast in question has befiled the cradle of human intellect. The city within those territory lies the oldest of academia. Acad Acad God damn it. Um, Academies. Jesus Christ. Why did I have so much trouble of learning? Namely, Oxenford. The swordsman who puts an end to its criminal doings will be rewarded with the king's full generosity. Commander of the Oxenford City Regiment. Contract. Beast in the Oxenford Forest. If you know no fear and seek work, read this notice, for the call contained therein will be of great interest to you. Hands of Sedaris, soldier of fortune and veteran of many wars, hereby makes known the following. Being greatly concerned about the fate of the local peasantry, which suffers horribly from the attacks from, another, from some monster nesting in the forest near Oxenford. I have decided to grant a purse of Novigrad crowns to the man who slays the beast, this beast. Yet may it be known that any man who comes to me without a trophy shall receive no gold, but instead shall be tossed out on his arse so hard he shan't sit again until the end of his days. Hans Hans of Sedaris, world-famous soldier of fortune, veteran of numerous wars, honored member of the Order of the Lily. A uh, contract with Len Beast. Let the following be known far and wide. There's some monster in the woods outside Novigrad doing great damage to our war effort. Anyone who tracks it down and kills it will not only fulfill a patriotic duty and bring the inevitable victory of the United Northern Forces under the leadership of our brave King Redavid one step closer, but will also get the sizable coin reward as recompense recompense for his trouble together onward to victory captain felix grubb addendum note the reward has yet not been claimed addendum attention if the monster is not killed by the end of the present month taxes for the entire region will be raised by one-fifth well talk about a pressure tactic gwent play around with stepan Beat everyone you've ever played in Gwent. Consider yourself a prime player ready to face the best and the best. Then try your hand against Stepan. A man so good it seems the cards play themselves. To learn more, come by. Yeah, I suck at this shit. Careful, there's a swindler about. Attention, countrymen. Don't get taken in by the platitudes and false prophecies dealt in by the certain so-called soothsayer. Dwelling in Benkenham, this man calls himself a sage but knows as much about diving, divining the future as any toothless village hag, and all he truly cares about is extracting coin from the unwary. Don't let him cheat you. It'll only encourage him. Felipe Canalia, fifth-year student in the Faculty of Medicine and Herbology at Oxenford Academy. All right. I want Take a peek at my wares, yeah? Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do, though. Quest. Well, that heart. Talk to the hunter named Nelania. Okay, that's fine. Um, secondary. Ladies of the Woods, find the Crohn's Crookback Bog. 
Family matters. There we go. You know. Everyone to me! To me! Please must appear on some. Am I supposed to go through? Everyone to me! To me! Hey! They all sound Italian. Me, you, huh? Uh, oh, hey, ooh, ooh. No, that's not it. No, I'm supposed to go. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Nice! I tell you, nice. So there's a place on top. Right there. I just sail back to Point Vanus long. Everyone to me! To me! Let me save. Because I haven't saved in a while. Hey! Best where's this side of the Ponta? White one. Taking a beat yes. my wares, yeah? Go on, this? don't think twice, just fine. Mutant. Okay. Huh. Fair girl to Riviera, I presume. into the little one. His Majesty King Radovid is a stern Alright, so I have to figure out where this thing is. Honor in the fatherland. Damn it. Where's that delivery? Used to be here a week past. This kind of visit to travel through wheels to me. Ah watch your step. Literally I have to go up here. Is it the boy I've talked to? Oh. Supposed to go. White one, taking a peek at my wares yet? Yeah? Go on, don't think twice, just buy. Uh, what's on the other side? Stay out of my way. Yeah. Anything here that I can walk through? Going back. The seas are tossing, tossing, and the wind keeps blowing. Oh. I need a key. Usually you're able to... Okay, why can't I take... Alright. Oh, there we go. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. I don't trust the cat. You're personally. looking for me, and who might you be? My father sends you. Yeah. To see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about.
got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother? Seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done, and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? Why'd your mother miscarry? I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her. She fell. That's how it started. We were alone. No one to help. Blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry. Must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock. She was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seed. What happened to your mother? Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that... Thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Well, what will you do now? Tell me your side of the story. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19, and there you have my life. Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line, and we fled. What will you do now? What will you do now? Find my Mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends? Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Who are you? Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Gradon, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. 
A killer for hire, abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a Witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Where will you take her? Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Back to Tamara. Uh, go back to the Baron. Take some, um, let's take some horses. Run, Roach. Well, Richard. Your cat spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. Are you a Witcher? Oh. No, I'm Stevie Wonder. Come on, Roach. There has to be an easier way to get around. Slower. Ah, uh, world map. Let's travel. Super Bowl Sunday. Technically, if I play a retro game tonight, I should be playing Tecmo Bowl in honor of the Super Bowl. But I played that a few weeks ago already. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's nice. Uh, let's 
go talk. Let's talk, kind Baron. Actually, not kind, but still. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave your daughter the doll. Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. But what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! You bastard. Right. So long. Alright, the next thing in the quest. Investigate all remaining leads in Velen and find the Baron's wife. The Baron turned out to be a tough negotiator who knew the full value of information. Blah, blah, blah. Um, wow, that's fucking long. Mention rank. Okay, so let's read. Once Gerald and the Baron had reached the unborn babes, blah, 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 the Baron's wife and daughter had not fled Crow's perches unaided. A fisherman living nearby. Um. Fisherman living nearby had provided key assistance. Ger Geralt went to the man's hut where he learned. Okay, that's fine. One detail the fisherman mentioned rank in the room of mine. It seemed Anna's hands bore strange marks. Okay, we went through that. Geralt would have to endure the rankling until he found Anna, who's still alive, had to, somewhere, had to be somewhere in Crookback Bog. Tamara, on the other hand, had made it to Oxenfurt. So. Use the witcher sense to find a shrine that marks the start of the trail of the treats. So it seems like these two are related. The information found in the home of Hendrik, the Nilf Guardian agent, indicated Ciri had entered into conflict with some witch in Velen. At first, G Geralt thought this witch was Kira Metz, but he later learned Hendrik had meant a different individual, one who dwelt in Crookback Bog. Okay. Remaining leads in Velen and find the Baron's life. Okay. Ger Gerald's bosom boiled with wrath as he went to confront the Baron. He was ready to drag the truth out of the man with the sword, forcing him on the Upon hearing this, the Baron revealed another scrap of information about Ciri. He told uh, Gerald of a certain afternoon when he and his retinue had decided to celebrate a successful hunt with a bit of horse racing. The race had come to the abrupt halt, however, when a basilisk attacked. Here, the Baron employed an old storyteller's trick, breaking his tail off the crucial moment and announcing he would never utter another word until Gerald found his wife. Um, so basically, this is an open mission. Let's save. See if I steal his stuff, it'll do anything.
So I have to go. They won't be as cocky once the baron's men whip your arse. Find hints. I'm innocent, I swear. Guess it was profit. Let me order attack the merchants then. Stealing the goods and blinding those poor bastards. Uh, Oi, lads, fancy an outing to find that she beast? Bring the smiths, lads. Get two, one. Got a bad idea. Nice tits on her. Oh, I'm talking about the <laughs> shrieker. Nice tits on her. Okay. You bought me. Rubble everywhere. Come on. Let's go. All right, let's uh, get to the Batmobile. You've mastered a trade. Keeps the hunger at bay. All right, so let's uh, do another quest. We'll find this one as we're going along. Uh, find the crones at Crookback Bog. And that is... There's a thing here. But... Ladies of the Wood. So let's... Well, let's do this. Let's go here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I could go the other way. Oh. Park Slower. Down. around here water come on now uh. go go whoa okay I'm better on foot at this point <sighs> let's go swimming on a Sunday afternoon yeah. oh somebody died Muzzles caked in blood. Didn't give up without a fight. Tracks are irregular here. Monster must have started staggering. Was wounded, most likely. blood wow that's uh Outside the yard, yeah. It looks like it stopped here. Is that just light, or is that an actual treasure? Oh, it's just light. Let's go back onto the water uh, surface. Oh man, sorry if I'm not too interesting today. Um, in terms of talking, I'm not. Muzzles caked in blood. Didn't give up without a fight. Anything else here? I didn't check. That's outside the area. So then 
There's no... Sh what are shriekers? Do I even have a fucking... Nope. So I'll only get it once I beat one up. Damn! Um... So, there's a trail of blood here. That's pretty much it. There's no trail of blood here. So literally, the trail of blood leads to here. And it stops. Oh, no. here and it disappears or maybe not okay okay that goes up here um all right tracks lead to the cave Uh, save game. Watch me not be able to fucking beat this guy. Like. Sounds coming from above. The cockatrice. Not about to leave. Palm should smoke it out, though. Well, at least I got a lot of loot. Surprising to get the loot before. Is there any way of getting it? Uh... Ah, shit. I got rid of my fucking... Oh, what a crock of shit. Fuck. Shit. Okay, so I have to go up somehow. Yeah, with magic, he sucks. Um, yes, he's right there. How the fuck do I get up there? see if there's any other way on top. There's no way there. Shit! Yeah, I get the sound is from there. Oh, 
there's nothing. There's nothing up there that makes that makes it easier. Shit. Ooh. Maybe somewhere around here. I lure him out. Oh, he set bombs, right? Um, that is the most useless thing I've ever done. Oh, fuck. any bombs in my inventory oils I don't even know what I just did. But that is not helping. Shit. Alright. I'm definitely stuck here. Auxiliaries, vitality, reversing damage. No. It's not here. Must have fled through another exit. Gotta nab it before it gets away. Alright. There it is. Won't get away this time. Fucking go through the water. Let's see. One more shot, dead. Yay!
Well, at least they spared us the view. Collect your reward from the contract issuer. Go, go. Shit, there's a lot of fucking things that showed up. Where is the contract issuer? Oh, there's another area that opened up here. Uh. Oh. It's literally like right here. Okay, so turn around, go back to this line and... I'm going in the right way. Yep. So when I hit the road, Whoa. take it left. There we go. On the road again. Welcome to everybody that's watching right now the stream. Hope that you're having a wonderful Sunday afternoon. Super Bowl Sunday. That I'm really not excited for whatsoever All right. Who else is rising? Get up. It. Come on, Roach. <laughs> Take it easy. Contract for the Shrieker. Hear about the cockatrice you folk called a Shrieker. Won't be a problem anymore. What did you call it? A cockatrice? Yes. Some also call it a scoffin. Well, whatever ye or they call it, you've earned your reward. Here, all yours. If I ever have a son. I'm gonna call him Gerald. to the commander of the guard post by the bridge to Novigrad. You, white one, think your two swords could take on 14? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's gonna take a while. Uh... Yeah, let me 
to get here. Let's see if I can fast travel to that. Oh, That's it, Roach. Fight down the jet to your war. Time to water the horses. Hey there. Not so fast, Roach. How the fuck do you get out of this shit? Follow the, follow the road. Okay. Take it easy. Yeah, it's getting bad. What did I do to deserve your good um, Probably gonna tell me I can't travel because I didn't find it. Oh. That was a surprise. Lovers watching, welcome to the stream. Um, depending on how long this takes. we have here common item support in some kind of story but what happens if I go up what's up there oh you can actually climb some really master item that's fine oil here no uh, I really need to go get my my fucking torch Assuming the monster is still there. Harpy's uh, got their nest here. Okay. 
Let's see. Let's save it because I don't want to go through this again. Ballistic's letter. May the gods smile on you and me, sis. Now I'm asking you to read this careful, for what I got to say is important. Soon as you set hands on this, this writing, gallop off to that fence Kramer, what's based in Maribor, Maribor. Tell him we've got some first-class gear and Witcher sword diagrams to sell. I, I can see you now scratching your head, or more likely your arse, and asking, did I hear that right? You sure did. Twas the luck to come to care for a witcher, what got one foot in the grave and the other hovering right above. I was, I was, I was sat there, looking at the poor man suffer in agony, and thought to myself, he don't need this kit and these papers where he's going. While for us, that's the fixings we need to get us started in the world of business. If we sell them for the right price. That is, I, I hear you fretting, so stop, I don't take everything, I didn't take everything, in fact, nobody will even realize, realize aught of his shites missing. Sad though, ain't it, the witcher's a good man, first he helped the baronate solve the riddle of the lighthouse, what was sending ships to the rocks, then he killed that dragon, ate all the peasants, problem is, a dragon's no easy pickings, and our valiant hero got quite the licking taking it out. He's done for, that's certain. So soon as they bury him in the tomb on Cro Crookback Hills, I'll head straight to your place. Come to think of it, I'm curious how they'll put him in, in that crypt after all the word is the vampire's mate. It was it, his hair, lair. Oh, Jesus Christ, I cannot fucking read for the life of me. P.S. I also lifted a few flasks of the Witcher, but since they're not, they're like not to survive the journey, reckon I'll sample them myself. See how Witcher Hooch goes down. Maybe we'll make a business out of that too. Your brother-in-law, A. Ballstick. Witcher George, George's Confession I, the underassigned George of Kagan, a witcher by trade, testify as follows. While traveling through Velen, I received a summons to provide professional testimony in the matter of the accused Bartoslav of Lev Lovefield. This Bartoslav stands accused of causing several shipwrecks near the lighthouse which, is, which it is his duty to keep. Ships led astray by errant signals from the lighthouse have repeatedly smashed against rock, rocks near the shore, and the lighthouse keeper is held to be responsible for the state of affairs. During the trial, Bartoslav testified that he was diligent in the fulfillment of his duties and that the accidents were caused by night wraths deceiving sailors with their false glow. Having investigated the area, I can testify that I found no trace of night wrath activity. There are likewise no signs of noon wraths, mamoons, urnifs, urnifs, nymphs, and any other specters in the habit of misleading weary travelers journeying by foot, sea, or horse. I did, however, find the cat catastrophes as true cause. They were not the fault of the night wraths blamed by the accused, but neither were they the fault of the lighthouse keeper himself. The accidents were caused by local hooligans who have taken to lightning fires in the hill at night and then robbing the ships that subsequently wreck upon shore. I was put on their trail by Bartoslav's son, who showed me the ashes from their misleading fires. My testimony shows that the lighthouse keeper Bartoslav of Lovefield is not guilty of the crimes of which he stands accused and should be freed. I also humbly ask for the bailiff to put the lighthouse keeper and his family under his protection, for in light of the releva revelations, Bartoslav's son led me to discover there will surely be certain parties 
with cause for vengeance. I cannot undertake the task of protecting the family myself, for I have accepted a contract to kill a dragon, said to be lurking atop the Crookback Hills, and so must return there post-haste to kill the beast and complete my task. Signed, George of Kagan, Witcher, transcribed by Vincenzo Stock, Marshal to the Royal Prefecture in Gors Velen. Well, that was a big a bit of a read. All right. Oh, I thought I was able to go up there. There has to be something up there. Right? Because I didn't kill all the... Oh, this is the other door. Yeah. This can't be it. There has to be more. Oh, there we go. Nothing for some pickings. Climb up here. Nope. I don't hear anything. Oh, that's what it is. Our bees got their nest here. Winds howling. Should have been a little bit easier than that. I apologize. I did not. Uh... I was being stupid. Yes, shiny blood. Which is weird. Uh, I came out from there. Yeah, so fast travel. World map. Seriously, there's nothing around here? So I think for right now, I think that I am done for today, to be quite honest. Thank you to everyone that passed by. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I, well, I'm really happy that you, even though you didn't chat, um, I'm really happy that you uh, show up, showed up. So, um, like I usually, I wanted to do in the new year, um, I wanted to promote new, um, other, other streamers as well. And, uh, there's one guy that's streaming right now, Eng Engineering Gaming Nerd. And I will be sending 
their stream his way. So, I hope that you guys enjoy it, and uh, let me see you there now.